Color 13, Latino America. Now, you could say that we're taking a bit of a diversion from the typical kind of younger people hype, Hispanic, Latino, da da da, Spanish music. Um, and I've had quite a few requests for this artist and this song in particular, being Color 13, Latino America. Now, looking at the recommendations, we had Nicole Beckman, Joselyn or Hosselin Parejo, Fallen Angels, Tanya Mobe, Tatiana Olav, Javier Vasquez Salceda, and Melissa Frank. Now, Melissa says that it's important I understand the lyrics, so I think pretty much everyone said that I should listen to it with the English subtitles, so that's obviously what I'm going to do. Javier Vasquez Salceda, we've had some really interesting conversations and you've made some really good points and some obviously really good recommendations as to what music you'd like me to react to, which is exactly what I want people to do. Um, and he got involved in the... Rosalia um, de mi nombre debate, which I appreciate. He, he made very valid points for both sides, yet was mature enough and enough of a real person with a brain to understand both sides, which is fine. But that, that is exactly how I want to watch my channel. So I appreciate you, Javier. Thank you for doing that. And he's gone to a lot of effort to suggest some different type of music, which I'm definitely up for doing. So here we are. This is the first one. He suggested that I explore some other Spanish music, Latin music, Latin American music. Um, and I would hope that moving forward, you'd continue to recommend me some. And I'll do as many as I can, because I've got a feeling this is going to be good. Um, but yeah, for now, we're going to start with this. Tatiana said that it's released about 10 years ago. Okay, cool. It's not reggaeton, but it's got a powerful message and the video and the rapping is great. She said, I think I'll enjoy it. And she gets emotional, which is interesting. Um, It'd be interesting to get emotional if it's a rap song. Uh, Fallen Angel said, Residente Cali 13. I think he, I think Residente is like the main guy. I think it might be a group, I'm not sure. From what I've seen in the other comments, I think that's what it is. He's a Puerto Rican reggaeton artist, so someone says he is reggaeton. In this trying times, it's a song that might touch your heartstrings, okay. Spoiler, it may make you very teary-eyed, so maybe listen to it on your own. Just don't listen, just don't miss the opportunity. All right. Interesting. So, I mean, yeah, there was probably more comments, but they're the ones I could find right now. And let's do it. Muy buenos días a todos los amables oyentes en esta mañana de su radio Intiray. Allí ya chuca, 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 ya chuca. Let me know if this is actually the video as well. I'm not going to be focusing on the video, I'm just going to be watching the video. Allí está que guayra cura chayemuco aquí. Puerto Rico, Nación Manta Pacha. Paikura, Xutikmi, calle 13. Y las patas de mi taquita pomanchis, chaita que su ting mi Latinoamérica. Uy, ahí con su chis. Cancunapa. Soy. Soy lo que dejaron, soy toda la sobra de lo que se robaron Un pueblo escondido en la cima, mi piel es de cuero, por eso aguanta cualquier clima Soy una fábrica de humo, mano de obra campesina para tu consumo Frente de frío en el medio del verano, el amor en los tiempos del... Fucking hell, I don't know if you can see the goosebumps, but I've got them already I don't, I don't know if it's because... It's what he's been saying yet. I, I, I guess I'm starting to build the understanding of what he's about to say. But I think it's that kind of like very soft singing in the background. And his, and his cadence and his tone is very, it's very subdued and he feels very, he feels very low. Cólera, mi hermano, el sol que nace y el día que muere Con los mejores atardeceres Hoy el desarrollo en carne viva Un discurso político sin saliva Las caras más bonitas que he conocido Soy la fotografía de un desaparecido La sangre dentro de tus venas Soy un pedazo de tierra Que vale la pena una canasta con frijoles Soy Maradona contra Inglaterra Anotándote dos goles Soy lo que sostiene mi bandera La espina dorsal del planeta En mi cordillera Soy lo que me enseñó mi padre El que no quiere a su patria No quiere a su madre Soy América Me enseñó mi padre El que no quiere a su patria No quiere a su madre Soy América Latina Un pueblo sin pierna Pero que camina Oye Tú no puedes comprar al viento Tú no puedes comprar al sol Tú no puedes comprar la lluvia Tú no puedes comprar el calor Tú no puedes comprar las nubes Let me know who the singer is. Tú no 
Tengo mis dientes pa' cuando me sonrío La nieve que maquilla mis montañas Tengo el sol que me seca y la lluvia que me baña Un desierto embriagado con peyote Un trago de pulque para cantar con los coyotes Todo lo que necesito Tengo a mis pulmones respirando azul clarito La altura que sofoca Soy las muelas de mi boca mascando coca El otoño con sus hojas desmayadas Los versos escritos bajo la noche I am taking it in guys, it's a lot to, it's a lot to try and understand. Bajo el sol en Cuba Soy el mar caribe que vigila las casitas Haciendo rituales Y agua bendita el viento que peina mi cabello Soy todos los santos que cuelgan de mi cuello El jugo de mi lucha no es artificial Porque el abono de mi tierra es natural Tú no puedes comprar el viento Tú no puedes comprar el sol Tú no puedes comprar la lluvia Tú no puedes comprar el calor Tú no puedes comprar las nubes Thank you, Ricardo A, for subtitling that. Shit, guys. I feel like it'd be an injustice if I don't go and write an essay about that song. Oh my god, there's so much to say. First and foremost, let's talk music. Um, very, very basic instrumental. It wasn't complex at all, but it was enough. It was enough to get the point across. And it just set the platform up for a really nice chorus, well, multi-chorus with the singing. And and Residente sounded good in it as well. Um, Arrangement-wise, it was strange. It seemed to go on forever. It felt like it was like 10 minutes, even though it was only five and a half. Um, there was multiple verses, but it was also... I feel like I've just watched a short film, like a two-hour film condensed into five minutes about the attitude of the people of Latin America and South America. And now it's hard to tell because I can't relate to it, and that's maybe why... I didn't cry or I didn't, I didn't feel as much. I felt what they were trying to say, but I can't, maybe because I can't relate, I can't, it didn't upset me basically. But I found it sad in stages with what they were saying. So from my interpretation of what they were saying, and I might be wrong regardless of if I had English subtitles or not, my interpretation is that essentially the ground that they live on is the lifeline and the blood of their life and their meaning in life. Hence why the music video started and ended with a beating heart in kind of the roots of a tree. Meaning, at least in my mind, before I even heard the chorus, 
this is like we're passionate about our land, our culture, our place, our traditions. And basically, as the song went on, I found that it's kind of a rebellious track and maybe maybe it's anti kind of anti Spain, anti United States of America, whereby it's kind of again again, it's kind of anti anti colonization. Those themes are what I felt were very present here. And now there is a lot to take in. At the point where they were singing, This is my land, this is my heart, this is my life, this is this is that. You can't buy my soul, you can't buy my life, you can't buy my land, you can't buy my sun, you can't buy my cloud, you can't buy my whatever. Basically, I think they're trying to refer to the fact that a lot of countries try to a lot of richer countries try to exploit countries in Latin America and South America for their resources and exploit their weak political institutions such as corruption in the governments and unfortunately I know that many Latin American countries have been hindered and held back in terms of economic stability and growth by corrupt and anti-growth governments who just kind of bend to the will of maybe the United States or maybe even Britain or countries like Spain who I'm assuming have put a lot of effort into taking what they can get out of Latin America rather than investing in it. Um, And I feel like this is quite a rebellious take on the perception of the outside world from Latin Americans, which I can completely understand. I can't relate, but I do understand what they're trying to say here. and, And I think what I appreciate the most about this is how it kind of represents the humility of the people of this region of the world whereby it's not all about gold chains and flash cars and expensive goods. Life is more about appreciating your family and your friends and the real life connections that you can make with the crops that you make, the animals that you live from, the mountains that, you've, that maybe you live in or that you can see every single day. Like the metaphors in which Cali 13 expressed what they think about their culture and talking about the sea and the rivers and the mountains, that was beautiful. I really did enjoy that. I really did enjoy that. Um, also, the music video, very, very diverse. I, I, to be honest, I never really... Because I'm quite uneducated on this topic in this area of the world, I, I don't know much about it, but I didn't realise that it was so ethnically diverse. And especially the little part of the end where it showed maybe the different types of landscapes and then also the different types of people and races and colours and creeds and whatever else you want to call it. Um, That was a really nice touch. And it just kind of shouted out to me that we are who we are and we don't have any interest in in what the the Western world wants to do with us. Like, we're, we're happy with what we have. So don't come and try and spoil our lives and our beautiful countries with things that we don't want. Mm. It's kind of a deep dive into Latin America and Southern American arts and culture and history, and also society in general, in a way that I've never been exposed to before. So I do really appreciate you showing me this because I feel like it's taught me a lot. Even in five minutes, it's taught me a lot of, of stuff that I never knew. And I suppose when I've been referring to it being like a rebellious song to maybe perhaps other other parts of the world. I think in the same vein, it's also a kind of fuck you to the to the governments internal to Latin America and Southern America. Um, because clearly, or at least in my opinion, and I have studied this in university in my final year, in parts, not obviously the whole issue, but it's kind of a fuck you to their own governments and their own policy reform and their own inability to develop with, let's say, the more established economies of the world, like maybe the big countries in Europe, like Spain, France, Germany, the UK, and then also America, Canada, countries that are really at the top of global economics and and do, for the most part, provide high quality standard of, standard of living. And not because we deserve it, but that's just the way that history's gone. I'm very, very curious to know what everyone thinks about this one. So if you've never commented before and you don't, that's not your thing, I actually really do want you to on this one, especially if you're from one of them countries. I want to know some opinions from maybe some people from Spain on what they think about the song, because obviously 
your opinion is going to be different and your perspective on this will be very different to people from Puerto Rico or Latin America or Southern America. Um, but yeah, I want to see both sides of the coin. I want to know what everyone thinks on this. So if, you, if you've not commented and that's not your thing, I, I, I would love for everyone to get involved in this one. Um, and this is obviously going to be a longer video than my typical video because there's so much to break down. And I feel like I still can't really do it justice because there's so much to break down. But I'll be in the comments interacting with everyone because yeah, this is fascinating to me and it's really opened a whole new world in my head. So I'll be reading everything, getting engaged. So yeah, see you down there.